start recording. Share my screen. I think my screen sharing got canceled there. Uh huh. Is that what happened? Well, you don't know because you're not on the screen. So. No, I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so you're not much help to me here. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So what I'm showing right now is um, I visited a, a site in Dropbox that I got off of the um, – I'm just going to go back from the very beginning here. And um, that's not what I want to do. I want to open the public-facing Fiddly Wheaton. Mm -hmm. That's two slash design rights. I'll, I'll make sure that all of these links actually work, but I think they do. Um, and um, hey, you had hang on, you had a, a tip for me on how to get my Hidley Wiki to load so the contents always loads first. Yeah, it's the system titler. Oh no, 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 no! You're talking about. Uh, putting it on the left hand side are you because there were two tips one was moving it to the left hand side which I see you've done and the other tip was about clearing the temp and the state tiddlers um, at save so that they don't save like your searches correct that one yeah but that looked um it was more about getting content. Oh, co oh, I see. I got contents to move. I already did that, right? Okay. Yes, indeed. You got that working perfectly. That was great. Okay, I did that. That's right. But I can't get it to default that way, and not unless because when I, and I think if I leave it in like this, then that's how you see it because the state that it stays to is how Dropbox syncs it. That's the one, and that's and that's why I suggested. Um, making a shadow tiddler for the system uh, core save all and that will prevent you from saving the temp and the state of your tiddly wiki so that we don't keep ending up with your searches in the search bar every time we load your tiddly wiki so okay so that's how do i i click on more and then it's in the system which is very mysterious so these, yes, oh, and then you have to go to core. This is the gut. So you kind of scroll down through and you look for stuff and you can really mess stuff up or not, but it's really hard to break it. Yes. So, and the I, best I'm way core. I've found to get to it yep, I'm in core. is rather than scrolling through, because you're still going to have to do this anyway, is do an advanced search. You know, I never use advanced search. Well, the reason you have to do it this time is because you're looking for a sub within core. So, do you ever use this? Is this how you write filters? No. <laughs> this is cool. This, I always forget about this. So, you can do tag. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know any of my tags. How can that be? Um, design right. Spaces, right? And then you get the matches, and then you can copy and paste this into your code elsewhere. Oh yes, yeah. See, this is the, I mean, this is the hard stuff. Getting these things to, and this is how you can get all. And then you can do like, um, you know, I want to sort by created. And you can see if it's working. Yeah, that seems to work. So then you, once you get this working, that, that's, so this is the work of creating a filter. This is making a list. And then you can make mm -hmm. that in a new tidbit. Um, probably something like this. Okay. But you can't just like, that's not a link. You have to tell it to do something. So you put angle brackets around it, for example. And then you type list that links filter equals and see that's not quite good enough so you have to put quotes around it right yeah 
and that doesn't work either, but it should. It's, actually, it's not filter equals, it's filter colon maybe? There it is. Yeah. So, but it's, but the advanced search helps you write this part of the code, not that. So anyway, that is a distraction on advanced search, but thank you for that distraction. So advanced search <laughs> by clicking right here and it's pretty powerful. These are all your shadows and what were you suggesting we do? Okay, you need to do a search for core save all. So it's core forward slash save forward slash all. Um, course in standard or system? Uh, uh, it's in system. So the full search is dollar colon forward slash core forward slash save forward slash all. I wish I could share my screen to show you what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you can make it. I don't have that. Okay, you don't have that. Now that's good because you do actually have it, but it's in the core. So if you copy your search string now, well, I didn't fully and then it click out. on core in the search results because core will come up in the search results, right? Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So click on core, yep. and then in your browser, use your Control F to find, and then paste your search string back into that, and it will find the subtitler okay, of core. Yep. Got it. Yeah, that's the one. And that is the one that you want to create a, a shadow tiddler for. So the way to create your shadow tiddler is obviously just to make a change to that tiddler and save it and it will automatically become a shadow tiddler. Yeah, see now something open that I'm totally unfamiliar with and don't want to see and don't like. <laughs> um, and it's just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, it's so like that's... That's yeah. the core, right? That's, yeah, so that's all the core tiddlers? No, it's just, I have no idea what it is. Um, hmm. Lots of stuff. So what I do here. Um, you use your control F in your browser to find in that list, your dollar colon forward slash core forward slash save forward slash all. And it will be in that list. What I'm going to do here, when, so when I rarely get myself into these situations, but when I find stuff like this, that I'm totally mm -hmm. all the way, I don't want to save, so I don't want to do anything. So I'm just going to reopen my okay. design right HTML for my last version. And yes, I absolutely want to leave this page. <laughs> and um, what I usually do, and I got carried away, um, more cautionary is I, I play over here in my special private Dropbox mm -hmm. where I have a little thing called a sandbox and I yep. put in there. <laughs> and so here you see right, that makes sense. things in here. All my goat stuff and um, this is the all sorts of crazy things. So we're going to get to that. But, um, yeah. So anyway, so I will figure that out, but I'm not going to work on that today. Um, what I'd like okay, now that's cool. Is take take a shot at um, reviewing another. Um, um, we've gone from seven to eight for this workshop, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I want to take a look at. I've got a couple. Of, I wanted to do James Ward's, and I had that open over here. Um, so James is the pink one or something, and. Um, the thing I like about Tiddly Weepy is that like, I cannot stand this talent. Okay. Well, that's gone. Oh, the palace and Jay's one. Yes. Oh, my God. That's gone. <laughs> so, yes. that's gone. In my, list, in my list of contributors, I have, uh, have said, warning, eye protection required. Yeah, see to me, <laughs> yeah, see to me with Tiddly, I mean, it's fun, it's cool, and it's, um, but uh, yeah, and so certainly in this, yeah, I just change stuff I don't like. I do that with, when, um, when, I, get, when I used to get papers and word from students, I would change it from double space to single space so that it was the way I wanted it to be. 
Um, so yeah, I had no troubles about that. Um, and so it wants me to save this because this is the Dropbox version. So I'm going to save this. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm going to save it in my Dropbox. And the way my Dropbox is organized right now, this is the design right folder that I've shared. And then I've got another folder called Spring 2000 Green Eggs and Ham. And I've actually already got this called, um, where'd it go? Oh, I didn't save it yet. Okay, good. So I'm going to call it, um, Name Green Eggs Chris.html. Um, and then I open it immediately with the file. Oh, and I get this, and hopefully Tiffy Fox kicks in. Yeah, you want to save it? Okay. So now I've got my own version of it. Um, and what we wanted to do with that, I'm going to push this over to the right side screen. And, um, we wanted the green eggs vocab template over here in James. I just can drag it over and you drag that across, right? I get across the screen and then I and I can click import and it's like right there. Okay. Yeah, right. I've I've done the same to my own one as well. I've dragged your template across to my current live. Yeah, so drag once you start dragging, dropping tiddlers, then that's how you steal code. Um mm -hmm. so but we're looking for um, what's his? His is uh, his is called uh, versus green eggs. Green eggs breakdown. That's the one. Yeah, and he's got um. Yeah. What's his major tag here? Green eggs. I put my shades on, and I'm looking at his one as well. Yeah, I just it's his major thing is green eggs, I guess. So we'll, we're gonna make a little template for him. But we're going to change the vocab from your tag to be his tag, Green Eggs. And um, we'll rename it to call it just Green Eggs Template. We'll change it a little bit over here. And um, let's change the content. It doesn't have the lines. Um, these are the tiddlers that. James created for the Green Eggs Project. Yay! How about that? Because that's so obnoxious, I'll have to change it. <laughs> okay. And um, let's see if it works. How are we going to know if it worked? Um, we'll close this. Oh, there it is. Template for here. These are the tiddlers that James created, and it's coming in at the bottom of his tiddler. Okay, I like that. Um, so what we've done, um, this one is not tagged the Green Eggs Project. So let's edit this. Mm -hmm. Green eggs and add that tag so that we can get his stuff sort of organized. I don't like I don't like these words up here. I know James does and maybe some of you do, but I don't. But I'll show you how to get rid of them. We go to appearance. Oh, yeah, the more edit and close. Pool bars and no, that's not it. Uh, settings maybe it's something in here. There's all sorts of stuff that you can mess around with in here. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of it I play with, a lot of it I leave alone. Um, I'm about to, there's a place to do words. Yeah, I've seen this. I've, I've never used it myself, but I have seen it before. Yeah, you can turn the words on. But obviously, if you can turn them on, you can turn them off. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I found it. Below. Oh, no, no. No, I haven't. Do not display titular titles as links. Now, that's not the one. <laughs> Different. Oh, down Toolbar here. buttons at the bottom. Toolbar buttons. Let's get rid of the. Yeah. Button. Of control panel. And yeah. I can't even read what that says there because he's got blue on blue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, control down. panel settings. And it's the very bottom of settings. Yeah. yeah. We're there. Yeah. We did it. And then, by the way, if you go to appearance, um, this is to you, Hagar, and click on um, palette. Oh, palettes. Yeah. Change the palette for now. Change a different palette and you'll be happier. Right. I like. Oh, much better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can take the shades off now. 
Yeah. So there. Okay. <laughs> so now, so what James is doing, and what I'm going to do is demo. Um, Um, demo part, something from the next exercise. Um, and for that, I'm going to go into the. Um, I got an email from Kira. I'm going to go into my drive. And I'm going to do a new spreadsheet. Um, well, new Google Sheets. And I'm going to put this on one side of my screen. And um, come on. And we're working on James's on the other. We gotta switch that over to the other browser window. Okay, so um, kind of a little bit of what James is doing is he's building this table, this four cell table, um, mm -hmm. like this. And I'm typing in a spreadsheet in our radar. So I'm typing the actors in one cell, and then questions mm -hmm. asked. In another cell, and then response in the cell below it, and animals in the cell below that. Okay. Right. And um, I'll have to see this on the YouTube video later. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> I hope we don't lose it. Um, just let me make sure I'm still recording. I am. Okay. Um, and so, if I open his Hitler and look at the code for the actors. He's doing this. This links prefix Sam and this links prefix the drink. Okay. But well, really, what it should be doing is this links preview the actor, right? Because each cell should have a single kind of um, tidbit about it, basically. Right. right. And then his questions asked, he's got that correct. He's doing the list links filter tag. The tag. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Um, well, actually, I'm just going to put the word questions because that's just tags. So now I put the word questions in my spreadsheet. And then the next one is actually responses. No, it's response. I'm sorry, response. And then the one after that is animal, which is singular. Okay, and Sam and Grinch, I'm going to fix those. I'm going to call it actors. I'm going to fix that over in his spreadsheet, okay? Over in his space. So I'm going to leave this spreadsheet alone for the moment. Um, I, can, I can foresee a problem here, Steve. Yeah. yeah, it looks like James has not tagged Sam with actors. Yes, no, I know he hasn't. We're going to fix that right now. Yep. Yeah, so the way we're going to fix that is I'm going to go to um, bit.do slash design right and... Um, I'm going to go to James. I'm going to just stop editing this is Tiddler. And I'm going to reveal more magic. Not that they're really secrets, but there's just so much that people can do. Um, there's a thing called rename tags. Um, we're going to drag this over here and import it. Hopefully this way. Sometimes it does. Oh, it did. Okay, so we, oh no, we didn't need to rename tags for James's, right? We just needed to add tags. Yes. Okay. Well, anyway, this is a nice trick. If you ever have a tag that you need to rename, you can rename tags like animal to animals. And it says apply the tag animals, yes. And then take it away. Nope. And that's a really nice thing. I'm going to put it back. So rename tags is great. You should use it. But I don't think we need it in this moment. Um, what we need to do is find Sam and Greg and add the tag actors. Um, yes. Sam. 
I notice also he's not consistent with his naming of the tags. Um, uh, for instance, animal is only s singular, but questions is plural. Yeah, we don't care about that as long as we'll get there. Right. I'm just I'm just pedantic about these things. You care about that <laughs> um, as we move along, um, and it's definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to get that actors. I think was it actors or actors. I don't remember what I use now. Um, so I can check it. I'll save it. Um, it's kind of annoying, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, actors, Vince and Sam are there. Okay. Um, so I think we're okay with his. I'm gonna come back to my spreadsheet now because we're all wondering why we're doing this. Um, If we wanted to, um, create each one of these four fiddlers, um, and we didn't necessarily know what we're going to call them, we might create them in the spreadsheet first, copy the spreadsheet, so I just did an apple C, copy, um, And somewhere in there is convert spreadsheet to tiddly table. And I'm just going to paste and then translate. Oh, it's not going to work today, is it? <laughs> now that's interesting. Have you got to the plugin? It's been working. For the Google Sheet. It's been working, but now it doesn't work. And I think I'm beginning to understand oh. finally. I think it works when I've got the file opened locally. I can be the file in a, I think that's exactly what it is. I bet you I've just bugged this and I'm gonna Oh, I'm so disappointed that's not it. That's weird because this worked just yesterday. So, hmm. oh. okay. This is not the one. Yeah, because I know before you can use Google Sheets to export tidbits, you one. have to have I'm a plugin for it, don't you? I'm, uh, uh, I'm using the wrong one. I left the old one in there and I should have known better. Uh huh. Convert spreadsheet to tiddly table. It's got a bunch of stuff in there. And it's a different. Oh, this one's not working at all today. Can't even paste. And there's no translate that. This one is working. Okay. It does work in the local version, so I will figure out a way to make it work for people, but it's the most amazing little piece of tool that I've had. Not made that interesting, but so you can copy that. Um, let me go back and change this a little bit. We need to make a formula, and that's why we are using spreadsheets in the first place. And so what we're doing is just demonstrating that we can make a small set of names of fiddlers in a spreadsheet. That's using JSON, is it? No, and then we paste it into the tool that I've got, which is a little tough to get to right now, but I will distribute it and translate it. Select the contents of the cell and back to James's tiddler. We'll do a new tiddler and paste it.
clicking on questions should take us to the questions tiddler. Um, of course, there's nothing in the questions tiddler, but let's put <laughs> something there. So let's put a um, list links, and list local links, right? So we're going to list that. Tag leave it. Pardon? You're going to tag leave it. Yes, and oh, we can give him tagly. That's a good idea. We'll give him tagly, which will return nothing. That's a good idea. Thanks for that suggestion. Welcome, Greg Tagly. Drag and drop. Import. This thing behaves a little strange sometimes. And now it's working. So now you see that questions is getting tagly and it's working. So, um, these famous actors. And so we're just going to give them all the command of tagly. We could do this with a template. Actually, didn't we just create a template for this? For James, we did. Yeah, you did. You dragged that across. That's right green eggs. So let's just add green eggs to the tag. And that will take us to the green eggs template. Let's edit the green eggs template and um, replace it with tagly. Yeah. And there we go. That'll work. And we're back to looking for our little table now. We've got a lot of tiddly, tiddlers open, so let's close a few and come back to the beginning. Here's James's case. Let's just close all the others. And I'm watching the time. I've got a few more minutes to wrap this up. I'm going to close the others. So now we'll click on response. Um, this needs to be tagged to green eggs. Right there, green eggs. And um, save it. And these are what's tagged to response. And then animal, same thing. And that looks like it's all working. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all again. Close others, I mean. Um, Interesting questions is not, and I recognize it because it was pulling its tagly not from the template, but from the code because I didn't see the debugging note saying it was getting it from a template. So that was a useful thing to have that debug in there. So now that's what this is, right? So this is showing me that, yeah, I'm really doing it. Okay, they're all coming from my template. And for these exercises, you just leave those in. That's fine. Um, it's more, it's about documenting that you're actually doing it. Um, okay. And so what I want to go back to now to your spreadsheet, something another piece of magic. Um, and so here I'm going to, Um, change the code a little bit. Um, well, we're a little out of time. I'm just going to make it a little bit more simpler. So I'm going to copy this down here to another table. But instead of um, squares, I want braces. Oh, yes. And instead of B5, I want it to be B2. Okay, so now I've got my actors and I've got them all in braces now. And what that does, if you remember, is that um, that creates, that will transclude the tidbits that have those names. Um, oh, I forgot to convert it. We kind of put it in a, paste it there. Translate it. All we're really doing there is putting some vertical bars between the cells, but it's a very convenient little tool to have. And um, 
see how we're doing there. Oh, that didn't work at all. That's good. <laughs> That's wonderful. We didn't get anything at all. Um, so, well, we'll continue along. Um, I would have expected to see the contents of actors there. I remember when I was playing around with creating tables on the fly, I end up giving up and using HTML instead rather than using the vertical bar. Yeah, the bars are painful, but they, um, um, ah, the reason is that there's no content in actors. Um, it's all in the template. So there's actually, if we type in here, this is the content of actors. Uh -huh. Then it should show up here. So, I might, I don't know why I shouldn't need to do a save, but I did. So it shows up there. Um, so what I'll do is, um, there's another level to that. So I will add to it in a little bit. So um, let me stop this record. Catherine, you're early. We've got eight minutes. We've got eight minutes of the design right workshop to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, let me, in fact, let me introduce you. Um, Catherine Stan is there, and Hagar is the phone call, the phone icon calling from New Zealand. That's me. Hello. And that's me. Hello. Steve on my Big Mac. I'm in here twice because I it makes me feel better when there's someone else here and I'm alone. <laughs> you like talking to yourself. <laughs> well, no, actually what it is is it's a monitor that I've got over there and I can see what is being recorded or at least what's being cool. projected. I hope. So sometimes you get confused. So um so let me so um let me go back to the spreadsheet for James and see if I can figure out exactly what I was after. But basically what we're trying to do is I'm the, hello, James. We're playing with your um, with your your thing. So, um, so I'm just gonna. I think if I just paste it locally, then that will work. Um, so we go to the Green Eggs template. Actually, I think all I have to do is put the tag leaves in them locally. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to take the templates off and to, to, to get to turn a template off um, you can, What I usually do is I'll just add an X to this tag and there's something called green eggs X, so it will go away but In order to find it again, sometimes I give it a name like my template In this case, maybe we'll tag it to green eggs because we know that we're using that tag because it's part of the project. Um, so we've got questions, and then this needs a tag lead. And we're going to save that, and all four of them, don't remember the other two. Animal needs the same thing. Uh, there was actors. I can't remember if you've said yeah, that. I can't remember that. And then um, response, I think, is the one that I'm missing. That is. Oh, yes, response. Um, and so because they now all have content in them, when we look up at, um, I'm going to make this little screen, um, when we look up here, um, this is essentially something, this is very close to what James had originally done. Um, one thing you might be missing is let's put him some content up above. Um, and I'm going to use an internal reference to the title of this Piddler, um, which is response. I'm going to copy that because now we can put, there we go. We can put that code in each of his four tiddlers. Hey Steve, this is James. I finally made it. Yup, how you doing James? Good. And um, we've been playing with your thing all right along here. So it's cool. Is um, that a good thing or a bad thing? Yep, and I got five more minutes. So what we've done here, and what I'm going to do is go save this. And um, so I want to edit this. And this is table one of spreadsheet.
And this is table two of spreadsheet. And let's just look at that. Um, and so it's always interesting what precisely transcludes and what doesn't. And it's probably something I'm doing wrong here, why the exclamation points are not quite formatting. But I'm not too concerned about that. But what we've done is something pretty powerful. By using tags, we've built this whole table structure um, that, in a sense, emulates a lot of what James is working on. So we didn't really, his was right here. Green eggs breakdown. Um, we did this, um, which looks very similar to what Dane's built, but he built it with this much code. And we built it with uh, with mine. We built it with this much code. Okay. Um, and so you know, it's a little bit more, but that's the kind of no nature of designing interactive texts. Um, just let me review what we did there. We started here with the names of four tippers. Um, so we're going to call this table one. And then we're going to call this table, actually, this is the native. And this is table one. And this is table two. And I'm going to share this. Um, this is Design right with shop um, in February. And save this and get a terrible link. Anybody can view so it's done. And this is table one, it's table two. And we took these um, four cells and copied them. We took these four cells and copied them. Um, then over in James's we're going to do a uh, new fiddler and we paste it. And I hope that this shows up on my screen. I don't think it does. Um, but I have, I can paste a couple of, oh, I know another way to get it. Um, you, oh, there you are. Are you going to paste this onto the Google uh, spreadsheet, are you, Steve? Yep. Well, so I'm, I'm just tidying up here, so let me wrap up here. Um, this is the link to the Google Doc that I just shared. And um, this is James's links from workshop. And I will put these back into the notes from my workshop in the past one. But if you want to get them now, you can get them. So, um, okay, let me stop the record here and stop my share. And um, stop my